YouTubers usually review ultra-modern or high-end techs and notebooks. Today I present you the Asus X560, a new entry-level notebook. How can it perform and can it play today's modern games like Fortnite? Let's find out! Well, as I mentioned in the intro, this is an entry-level model, so don't expect any high-quality body materials. It is a full plastic body, yet surprisingly modern-looking small bezel design. The port selection is quite small, we get three full-size USB ports, where two supports only 2.0, which is a bummer, one HDMI 1.4 port and a microSD slot, which can be very handy to transfer files from action cameras or from phones, although a full-sized SD card would be even better. Under the hood we have an 8th gen Core i5 CPU, but an i7 configuration will be also available. Will be? Uh, you may ask, yes, this model is not yet available yet, but will be available around Q3, so around hmm, back to school period might be a good guess. This is not a surprise, because if I have to target this model, it's a semi-good solution for a low-budget student who is looking for a latest CPU with a good dedicated VGA. Speaking of VGA, this model has a GTX 1050, not the TI version, and also with a 2GB of VRAM. A 4GB of VRAM model is also available. As for system memory, the review unit is packed with 12GB, which is plenty enough for moderate work tasks or even for gaming. Speaking of gaming, during the review I tested it on the good old Doom and for the fans a little bit of Fortnite. Both games run absolutely smooth at around mid to high settings, which is quite good. Fortnite locked at 60fps and also Doom was able to keep it solidly at this FPS range. The enormous fan did its job and during extended gameplay, or the IDES stress test, gave me zero issues. No throttling, the fan noise was still acceptable and not loud at all. A huge plus for this, so you can play uh, during class for sure, just keep your charger near to you. And here comes the downsides, the X560 is packed with only a 3 cell battery, which is most likely a joke. Under heavy load you can expect at around 2 hours of battery life, but surprisingly if you plan to use it on a moderate task like uh, office applications or let's say st school stuff, you can achieve a go quite good 4 hours of battery life, which is quite impressive. This is more likely thanks to the ultra low voltage CPU and the brightness was set to 50%. Another downside which I have to mention is the storage and the display. This particular model came with an HDD which is not good for today's standard at all, especially as a primary storage. The loading was so slow and even the smallest tasks gave me nightmares and waiting time. The display viewing angle is ok, I mean not IPS like for sure, but for basic tasks and for casual gaming still good, just be sure not to do any color accurate demanding jobs. So who do I recommend this entry level Asus X560 model? As I mentioned earlier, this model can be good for students who just need a new, not second hand notebook with the latest Intel CPU and also with a good VGA, but keep in mind to grab it with an SSD or at least upgrade it later with one. You won't regret it. Since currently this model is not yet available, uh, I cannot give uh, any Amazon link yet, but as soon as it released, I will add them to the video description. As always, if you have any questions regarding this product, uh, just uh, ask it in the comment section below and we'll try to answer all of them. And also if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel to bring you more awesome tech reviews for you. Thank you and have a nice day.